Jinju was completely formed in the middle of the 19th century, so it has a history of around 200 years. It has been formed its own highly stylized music and performing techniques over the past two centuries. It is typical China enjoying classic and superior beauty. As the cream of the Chinese culture, Jingju has become immensely popular with the imperial family, nobles, officials and the commoners in China. On the stage of Jingju, there is a guiding principle of the performance, which is make any voice like a singing and any movement like a dancing. These fundamental performing principles lead the actors and actresses outstanding skills and excellent play. Singing, recital, gestures and acrobatics are four elements of the performance of Jingju. Performers also use their hands, eyes, shapes, actions and footwork to help convey the specific meaning. China's national essence and it is everlasting classic, both in form and content. Characters who appear on stage fall into the broad categories. Perhaps the most famous of all was Mei Lanfang, a revered male pleasure of female roles, who was accepted worldwide and applauded as a great artist. He created many lovely and unforgettable artistic images by gathering together the best of the local and national operas. Mei Lanfang, together with Konstantin Stanislavski and Bartol Dobrecht, are the three representative figures of different drama performing systems. As time goes on, the traditional art as Jingju has become a precious spiritual fortune and cultural treasures for a lifetime of contemporary people. Everyone who gets in touch with Jinju can sense the charm and the power of this excellent work.